Hello, everybody. Welcome to another edition of Virtual Indoor Cycling. I'm Denise Struess. I will be your riding coach today. So go ahead and jump on your bike, get comfy, grab a sweat towel, a water bottle, and we will head out. I'm starting out here at about 65 RPMs, nice and easy, just turning the pedals. No real effort. Grateful to be alive. Grateful to have this bike and this opportunity to ride with you today. So as we just start to move our body, prepare for this ride, I just wanna welcome you. So glad you chose to ride a bike with me this hour. So go ahead and make sure you have just some light resistance on the pedals. Maybe take your way up to a seven on a scale of one to 10. So it just feels moderately challenging. We've got four zones we're gonna work through today. Easy, moderate, hard, and breathless or anaerobic. That will be the maximum effort. We've got lots of opportunities to play in that high zone today. So here's the game plan. We have three stages, and each stage builds upon the last. So the first stage is easier. We'll climb a hill, and then we'll do some intervals. Second stage, two hills and intervals that are a little bit longer. Final stage, two hills and even longer intervals. So that's your game plan for today. Three stages. At the end of the class, I'm gonna give you that opportunity to go minute to win it, one minute maximum. Go ahead and add a little more resistance to the wheel and I want you to get comfortable on your bike here. So shift your hips back to the back of the saddle, draw your belly in and just sit as tall as you possibly can. Hands are light and loose on the handlebars. Elbows are soft. For most of the ride, I like to leave my hands wide on the handlebars, but you might be more comfortable with your hands in close. When we stand, we'll come up here, all right? Take some deep breaths. All right, so the question I have for you is, are you ready to crush it more than once in this hour? The answer is yes, right? Okay, give me just a little bit more resistance. Core is strong. Let's practice out of the saddle. So go ahead and just turn the knob again to the right. Make sure you're starting to really feel some resistance in the pedals. And we'll just ride it out of the saddle to the end of this first song. Maybe more resistance. Hands forward. Here we go, rock it. So with these three stages, we're just gonna learn from the past. So we're gonna take what we do in the first stage and build on it to get better and better. In our final stage, we're gonna push beyond our own self-imposed limitations. Three stages, each one giving us a chance to learn from the past. I'm gonna ask you to just work harder today than you planned to work, okay? And remember, we have that minute to win it, that personal challenge at the end. One final opportunity to crush it. All right, I think that's it. Let's get on our first hill. This is stage one starting right now. Resistance, moderate. And we're gonna push up to 80 RPMs to get us started. Stage one, an opportunity here to find your best. We'll build 
we will build to maximum. So right now, moderate intensity on this hill. Give me a little bit more resistance. Let's try to stand. So what's waiting for you at the top? What could be a reward, a treat, a person that's waiting for you at the top? What inspires you? Have a seat. Try to keep that 80 RPM. If we do our work, sweat is right around the corner. <laughs> Shoulders relaxed. Feel the ball of your both feet on the pedals. And your feet are relaxed. No stress. No stress. Should we stand again? All right. Come on. Hard effort. You're strong. You got this. Back down. Woo. All right. Ahead of us is a fun little song. We're gonna do some dirty 30s. That just means we're gonna work for 30 seconds and rest for 30 seconds. And we have six of those. So start to get ready for your first look up into maximum effort. Give me some deep breaths, some strong core. Give me tall spine and shoulders down. This will be our first look at maximum. So get serious with me here. We'll slow it down a little bit. Come to 60 RPMs and we're here for 30 seconds. Make it easy. Gotta have my notes, you know, or I'll be way off for you guys. I'll leave you <laughs> doing way too long of something and not enough of something else if I don't have my notes. All right, first opportunity, 30 second push coming up. You can hear it. Let's go. 30 seconds, as hard as you can work. So that means you need speed plus resistance. Oh yeah, we are in it. Four, three, two, one, slow back down. Take 30 seconds at moderate. And we'll go again. One down, five to go. Now I'm going to offer you a little helpful tool, a mantra. For the next 30 second push, I want you to just think of one word, and that word is gratitude. Let's go. 30 second push. Just the word gratitude. That's all. Gratitude. Hold on to that word. Maximum effort. Bring it to the runway. Come on. 
four, three, two, and one. Slow it down. All right, these recoveries are not long enough, but they're all we get. Two down, four to go. So that word gratitude, we know that that has an almost instantaneous effect on our nervous system. So for this next push, 30 seconds, think of one person you are grateful for. Let's go. One person in your life that you just want to extend gratitude for. And think of that person. Grateful for a person. Ride with that person's face in your mind. 30 second gratitude offering. Four, three, two, and slow your legs. Come back to moderate. We've got three more of those. Deep breath. Big exhale. All right, here we go. On this one, something you are grateful for. Ready, go, 30 seconds. An object, something in your life, a possession, something. What are you grateful for? A refrigerator, a cell phone, a bed, a roof, a TV. What are you grateful for, a thing? Come on, give it your best. Three, two, and one. Slow it down. Ooh. All right. Number five. Gratitude. For this next one. I want you to think about something on your body that you are grateful for. One part of you, a body related gratitude. Here we go. Grateful for strong legs. Grateful for a healthy heart. Grateful for healthy lungs. Eyes that see, ears that hear. Pick a part of you. Gratitude. And slow. All right, we're gonna do one more. One final 30 second push. The recovery is a little bit shorter on this one. So get ready. Three, two, one, go. Gratitude, just that word again. It puts us in a different mindset. It takes us out of self-pity, self-judgment, and puts us in a better mindset. Let yourself go there. Gratitude. Come on, high end of that red zone. You know you're gonna recover. You know your heart will come back down. You got this. And
Here we go. Stage two. We got about seven minutes of climbing. So I want you to get down into that 65 RPMs. Moderate intensity. Moderate resistance. Abs in. Tall spine. Little longer heel. Little longer intervals. So settle in. We'll be in and out of the saddle on this one. Give me a little bit more on the wheel. So what does it mean to you to build on your best? If my best is my best, how do I build on that? Let's find out. Come on up. So best is arbitrary, right? Best is just what we've seen ourselves do in the past. So we really have no idea, right? We think that's it, but we've never gone farther down that road, so we don't know what's there. So start with a mantra, keep building. Let's get stronger together, right? Let's keep getting better. Let's drive a little farther down that road and see what's there. Hands are relaxed. Elbows are soft. You're breathing. Come back down. Duh. So with that list of gratitudes in our last interval set, did anything inspire you? If so, put it in your backpack, put it here on your handlebars and ride with that. Ride with that inspiration, that person, that thing, that part of you that you're grateful for. A little bit more resistance. Strong core. Strong legs. All right, you guys. I'm going to ask you to go up a notch here. You're already working hard. Let's work a little harder. Right to the end of the song, and we are almost there. Good job. Slow your legs just a bit. Slow your legs. All right. Moderate intensity again. Give yourself a tiny break. We're going to go right back up there. If you know the words, go ahead and sing. The fun sing along. Smart, but your head gets dumb. So much to do, so much to see. So, what's wrong with taking the back streets? You'll never know if you don't go. You'll never shine if you don't glow. Hey, now, you're an awesome. All right, nice hey, deep breaths. Hey, Oxygen to your muscles. Harder, you guys. Turn that knob to the right. Stand with me. You might as well swim. Hey, now. Hips are back. Sitting bones barely touching the saddle every time you pedal. Stay with me right here. Hard effort. 
It's a challenge. We are building. We're building beyond our limitations. What we think was our best. Go ahead and sit. All right, that should feel like, like a real challenge to your legs. We could all use a little change, right? Especially if we're changing forward. Let's change forward. Can you give me a little more resistance on that wheel? Oh yeah. You are a rock star. So if you have done your FTP testing, your functional threshold testing, that means that you've ridden for 20 minutes to see what is your best average watt. The highest watts you can sustain for 20 minutes. If you've done that, you know what I mean right now. Exceed your max. Exceed your max. Push. Get up above that red line. Not average now. This is max. Ah, very nice. Bring it down to easy. Woo. Take one minute right here. You can stay at 60 RPMs with the music or you can pedal a little bit faster. Grab some water. We are in mixed effort intervals. We have six intervals. They vary in length and they vary in intensity and they're a surprise. Right now, all you need to know, easy for one minute. We will play in the zones between easy and max. Six intervals. These are a little longer, so I want you to be a little stronger. Meet me at 60 RPMs with more resistance. More resistance, stand with me. We're one minute right here, hard effort. You can go with the music, you can go faster. Don't go breathless just yet. This is one minute hard effort. All you have to do is hang with me. The best of your ability, we are building on our best. Just hang in there. Toes relaxed, fingers relaxed, face relaxed. We are golden, aren't we? All right, coming up. 30 seconds. Max out of seat. Keep that resistance on. Ready? Accelerate, let's go. 30 seconds. Go as hard as you can. Build on your best. Come on, folks. Don't quit. Don't quit, I promise. Doesn't stay this way for long. Four, three, two, slow it again. Take resistance off. Give me one minute easy. See, I'm so nice. You can go faster. I just take resistance down. Resistance comes on. Hard effort. Hard effort. Let's get up. You are hanging in there, yes? Sweat dripping on the floor, right? Is that happening? Woo. Come on, you 
you guys. Hard effort. We're gonna be right here for 30 seconds longer. Longer intervals. Stronger effort. Try to lift your chest. Have that natural lift in your back. Not a round banana back. Strong, neutral spine, strong core. Yeah. Get ready. I want you to have a seat. I want you to keep resistance on and give me 45 seconds. Maximum effort. Let's go. Max effort. Hang in there. Recovery is next. Come on, folks. You have got it. Woo. Strong as you can be. Max effort. Building on your best. Building. Little better than last time. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Slow it down. Stay with easy. Oh. Okay, that was fun, wasn't it? Had a good time? How cool that your heart rate can be way up there and within less than a minute, it comes right back down. We never have to be afraid of those high intervals because recovery is always right around the corner. Just like this. Speed your legs up with easy resistance. See if you can roll up closer to 100 RPMs. Let's flush them out. You did the work. Now you get to celebrate by just coming into easy, flushing out your legs. Drink some water. Give yourself some affirmations. You're doing great. We're in this together. Cheers. We have two stages behind us. Moving on to stage three. So you found your best, you built on your best, and now it's time to push beyond your limits. Third time's a charm, stage three. This is what we've been preparing for, training for. Now it's time. We're gonna do two hills, so the climbing is significantly longer here. We're climbing for a little over eight minutes. And the intervals are longer as well. We have a little longer, this is our longest interval coming up in here. This is our last chance to really climb hard, make our mark. Stage number three, resistance comes on. We have 70 RPMs. We're moderate. Moderate intensity. We're here for about a minute and then we'll get up out of the saddle and go to hard effort. Short song, three minutes or so. Building up to maximum. You have what it takes to climb a little longer to go breathless a little longer, you can reach deep. I'm gonna push beyond our mental limits. Push beyond what we think we can do to see what we can do, all right? I'd like you to consider a little bit more gear, a little stronger core. Reach forward, come on up. 
Now, whatever it is for you to feel hard effort, I want you to feel that now. Not breathless, just challenging. And as you look down, what do your what's say? What do your what's say right now? Those watts are telling you a story. Sometimes instead of trying to achieve a level of watts, get to a point where you feel like this is hard effort and then look, oh, when I'm working hard, that's what the watts say. Your muscles need oxygen. Give them what they're asking for. Go ahead and have a seat that keep hard intensity going. Challenge yourself. Dig deep. Up ahead, we have a maximum push on the top of this little hill. I honestly don't know how long it is because my timer is always a little bit different than the music. I don't have control of that right here. I wish I did. I'm gonna work that out. I am gonna work that out. But for now, I want you to accelerate. And it could be 15 seconds, it could be 30, it could be 45. But we're gonna do it. We're almost there. Just give me what you got. I promise to take you back down soon. Okay, it was 30 seconds. No big deal, right? Give me 65 RPM. The second stretch of hill is a little bit longer. Start with moderate. We'll do the same thing. We'll get out of the saddle and climb, and then we'll sit and push the max. This song is longer. It's about 90 seconds longer than the last one, so we're here. On this song, on this hill, I want you to light a match. I want you to light a fire inside of yourself. And we're gonna take this time to just keep that fire fueled, burning bright. You know that there are pieces of equipment that are like human fueled, right? Like if you don't work hard enough, you don't see light. If you don't work hard enough, you don't feel fans or hear music. I want you to imagine that, that what you're doing right now is stoking a fire inside of you. So we're gonna add a little bit more. Get that fire burning brighter. Stand up with me. Standing position, hands forward, hips slightly back. Body shifting from side to side. Just a little bit of body weight over the pedal. Side to side. We're here for a while, settle in. You might just close your eyes. Picture that flame. Picture your flame. Transition to the saddle, but keep all that intensity. So, in the yoga world, there is talk of these energy centers in your body called chakras. And the third chakra, you would know as the solar plexus, 
it's this bundle of nerves coming off your spine that feed your digestive system, that feed your middle back, kidneys, this part of you. And it's this part of you, you know that where you have gut feelings, you get a stomach ache, you get butterflies when you're nervous. This is known as our center of power, personal power, personal strength. And the name Manipura literally means like a fiery gem. So picture that bright fire burning inside of you. So I do know the timing on this one. I'm gonna ask you for 45 seconds, as hard as you can push on this hill. 45 seconds. Let's go. Let your legs go. Imagine, this is gasoline on that fire. You want a little bit bigger bonfire. Build that here. Your best efforts. Build the fire. Let it burn a little brighter. Every time you push on one of the pedals, give it a little more force out in front of you. Stay strong. Stay confident. And we did it. 65 RPM still. We're gonna do some more mixed effort intervals. I got a couple of little surprises for you right here. First of all, hard effort. We're here for another minute or so. I know, we didn't get to recover from that last one, did we? That's the way it goes, friends. This is the end of our last stage, though, so this is where we really get to dial it in. Make it matter. Ooh. Breathe deep. Find your core. Drop your shoulders. All right, as promised. The longest interval of the day is coming up. I'm gonna ask you for maximum effort for a minute 15. And I know that that doesn't mean breathless, but what is your hardest work zone for 75 seconds? Are you ready to go there with me? Say yes. You can add resistance. Ready? Let's do it, come on. You might bring your hands a little closer together. Drop it down if you like to ride on tri bars. Abs stay strong. Close your eyes. Feel, feel the work happening right here, right now. Your work, your effort. Maximum effort. Pull the breath in. Pull the breath in. You've got 30 seconds. Come on. Down and dirty. What or who are you grateful for now? Come on. Be here. Do this. 10 seconds. Don't quit. Go for three, two, one. Slow to 65. We've got one minute at moderate. Not easy, but moderate. Time to grab a drink. Time to towel off. Take some deep breaths. Woohoo!
here and now. All right. We're going to go back up to hard effort. So start to add that resistance now. I'll give you a little break out of the saddle. Deep breath. Strong legs. Push beyond. Here we go. Come on up. Light that fire. Burn bright. So when you think of gratitude, what do you think of? Probably think of people, right? Gratitude can be kind of a distraction. Like this thing is bad right now, so I'm gonna distract myself by noticing what I'm grateful for. But then that hard, bad, scary thing doesn't go anywhere, does it? So, what if we were grateful for the bad, scary, challenging thing? What if we were grateful for it? What would that be like? You get an opportunity right now, have a seat. 45 seconds, maximum effort. Pedal faster, let's go. Can you practice being grateful for this? This hard work this breathless work, this hard thing that is making me stronger. I know that when I end the ride full of hard efforts, I'm better. Gratitude for that. How would that feel? 10 seconds, come on. Give me your best. Three, two, one. Slow back to 65, drop a little. Moderate. Whew. I did mention that this stage is significantly longer, yeah? Well, we're in that right now. We have one more hard push and one more max effort. And I'll give you a little bit of recovery, okay? Closing in. The end is in sight. I want you to push beyond those limitations. Find some gratitude for this. The resistance comes on. Go ahead and stand if you'd like. You're welcome to stay seated. Whatever makes it feel like hard work. You know, if you were paying me to be your personal trainer, when you achieve a certain level of lifting, let's say bicep curls, when you can do that with 15 pounders, you pay me to hand you a 20, don't you? You pay me to hand you a 20 pound dumbbell that's harder than what you can lift. And you say, thank you, because I'm doing my job. The dumbbell is doing its job and you're getting stronger. So it is possible to say thank you for something that's challenging because we know what it's doing for us. All right, again, last push, max effort. Have a seat. I'm not exactly sure how long. But if it's like the last one, it's 30 seconds. Might be a little less, might be a little more. Let's find out how the timers are syncing for us. Last chance in this stage, going to the edge. Oh, we got lucky, it was 15 seconds. <laughs> All right, resistance low, cadence, as fast as you want, speed limit 110. 
let this feel easy. Drink some water, celebrate your success. You have a little dance party if you want. If you're gonna dance to Donna Summers, you gotta throw in some disco moves, right? Okay, friends. We have one last push ahead of us. It's that minute to win it. It's a challenge for your personal best. So on my console, I have these cool little things called trophies. And I can see my best one minute so far. So I get to try to beat that. And what that means is I'm not gonna be talking to you. Because <laughs> if your teacher's talking, you know they're not working as hard as you are. Dirty little secret. One minute of maximum effort. Minute to win it, one minute. You can sit or stand. You can accomplish this with any resistance on the wheel, any cadence. You just have to work as hard as you can for a minute. All right, I'm gonna start us out at 70 RPMs and what that will do is it will give us resistance on the wheel. All right, set a little goal for yourself. Are you gonna sit or stand or combo? Where's your resistance gonna come in? How fast will your legs go? What is your personal best for one minute? Ready? Set, go. Come on, you know what your best feels like, and you know that's a limitation. Don't hold back. On fire. Right now. Just a minute. Just 30 seconds, come on. Don't give up just because your legs are feeling it. That's the idea. Say thank you. Woo. Oh yeah. Almost there. Okay. Uh, okay, I'm feeling that. I did it. I exceeded my previous best. Nicely done, friends. Now, I can't just leave you hanging way up there on that cliff. So we're gonna take four minutes and do a ride home. I'd like you to start pedaling a little bit faster. Let's start with easy, but you're welcome to keep it moderate or even hard. Can come as fast as 100 RPMs if you like. You can keep it slow if you enjoy that climbing feel. This is a time for you to just feel good about what you've done this hour. To truly congratulate yourself. To look at what you've accomplished just for showing up today. Take a selfie, post it. <laughs> if you look back on this ride, we did a warm up. Stage one, we found our best with one hill and some 30 second intervals. Stage two, we built on that with longer climbing and longer intervals. Stage three, longer still. Bigger hill, longer intervals. 
And then you did a personal best, minute to win it. Now we're just riding home. Stay in the game. We haven't reached cool down yet. I want you at least at moderate intensity for a couple more minutes. We will taper down. We will bring heart rate way down. But for now, I want you to just stay in the game. Burn a few more calories. Push a little bit farther. Challenge your speed legs. It's going to be a sweet spot where your legs are just happy. There's a sweet spot where resistance feels just right. Find that for me for another minute or so. Moderate intensity. Still feel yourself breathing, taking in oxygen, letting off carbon dioxide. Still effort. This is like you've just done that race, climbed that mountain. There's always that stretch to get you home that you always wish was shorter. This is your ride home. All right, keep a little bit of resistance on. Take a little bit lighter pressure on the wheel. Meet me at about 75 RPMs. I'm going to start to bring it back to easy in just a moment. Keep a little bit on the wheel for now, please. Got another little fun thing for you on our way home. If you enjoyed this ride, I have a whole playlist on YouTube of cycle classes total body conditioning, step, even a couple walking workouts, and over a hundred yoga classes. Reach forward, walk it out with me. Let your legs feel a little bit more length. Come down, drop some more resistance. Put a smile on your face. So I would love to see you live. If you'd like to join me live, I teach yoga and cycling live on Zoom. Would love to see you there too, message me and I'll give you those connections. Most importantly, keep coming back to these rides. Keep coming back. It's consistency that makes the difference for you. Sit tall, shoulders back, reach high, bring your hands together, come down, give yourself another high five. You did a great job, shake it out. Take a moment to feel how good your body feels here at the end of a ride. You were right there at your own best. You're right there. Building, building, building. 
Very, very proud of you. Come back to the handlebars and let resistance go so that your legs feel like they're just floating around the pedals. One more sip, and we'll do some stretching. If you have to take off, thanks for joining me. If you'd like to stay, I'm gonna stretch you a little extra today. We're gonna to take about five minutes for stretching. So stick around if you can. Arms come up, stretch tall. Take a hold of one of your hands and just soften your elbows, lift and breathe. Cactus your arms, stop your legs. Lift your chin and just let the front of your body stretch. Fingertips touch the back of your head, press a little to feel a little more stretch. With whatever knee is on top, bring the opposite arm over and grab the back of the saddle. Bring yourself into a spinal twist. Super tall spine, look over your shoulder. And forward to switch. Opposite knee and arm. Look over your back shoulder. Deep breaths. You did it. Come back to center. Grab the handlebars around your back. Tuck your chin. That should feel really good between those shoulder blades. And then sit up, reach back, grab your hands, open your chest, grab forward. Go ahead and come up to the handlebars. Let's get calves here. So stretch your heels down and start to just feel that nice stretch in the back of your calves, your Achilles tendons. Make sure you're snug on the pedals. And then shift back to add in a hamstring stretch. Chest is forward, chin is lifted, knees soft. Breathe here. Ooh. You take a look at your numbers, your maximums, and your averages, your total distance. Go ahead and stand, switch legs, calves first, then come back into your hammies. Sitting bones lift, chest drops down. And then as we return to the seat, unclip. Go ahead and come to one side of your bike and just swing one leg out. It's been bent and kind of crowded for a while. Give it a little bit of space and then reach that foot back, either grab the foot or place it on the floor, come into a nice little hip flexor stretch right here. Chest lifts, belly draws in, knee points down and slightly back. Ooh, that feels good. Bring it forward and have a little seat here in a figure four. And bring it up to switch. Swing out the leg, loosen up around the hip, bring it back. Find that foot with your hand. You can challenge your balance a little bit if you like. And then go ahead and come up and have a seat in your figure four. Stretching around the glutes, chest lift. As we stand, turn with your back away from your bike. Grab the back of your, your saddle, your handlebars, chest lift through, breathe deep. One more time, just congratulate yourself. Remember that feeling of gratitude. Take that with you today 
you found your best, you built on it, and you pushed your limits. I'm super grateful that you joined me here. Have an amazing day.